Hi guys, today I'm going to be sewing up this shirt. I'm going to be giving a shout out to some YouTube viewers who actually purchased this shirt. So I'm going to get started on them right now and I will be revealing the names and we're going to make these shirts and get them mailed out. So I want to thank you so much for purchasing and supporting my channel. There are still some available, but just not at that low, low price of the 30% off. So let's just get started and we'll just keep talking along the way. So it's on there completely straight with the lines. Now we will go over and start the stitching. I forgot to mark my center. Oh no. I'm out of topper. Oh, I actually got some more. Don't worry guys. Have you ever been impressed with yourself? I bought this a while ago, knowing that I was running low on my other one. So I'm kind of proud of myself for that. Now if I can just get this open. So this first sweatshirt is for Colette. So thank you so much Colette for supporting my channel and also supporting my Etsy shop. I still have some sweatshirts available at simplydelilah.etsy.com if you would like to purchase one. So I've loaded the shirt onto the machine, put the topper on there, and we're going to baste it. And this is just going to keep the topper in place. And then I, and then we're good to go. So I'll just put on some music and we can just watch it stitch out. Okay, so this one is Colette's. Let's see, this is what the back looks like. So let's go ahead and get this one undone. I'm going to keep a lot of the stabilizer in between the letters because that way when you wash it, it's still going to keep its shape. The next sweatshirt that I'm working on is for my Aunt Moni. She's actually my Tia Moni because she is Mexican. If you knew her, you would love her. She knows how to sew, she can quilt, she can make you laugh, and she's probably dancing to this music right now. 
And since we are on that subject, maybe some of you wonder what my ethnicity is. Well, my husband is Mexican, and I say that because his grandparents did come from Mexico. So, you know, you got like your Latinos, Hispanics, Mexicans. You can Google that online to see some more clarification. And then on my side, my mom is from Thailand. So I am half Asian and half American. And my husband is half Mexican and half American. So when you put those two together, this is what you get. Two beautiful daughters. So I love my family. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So we'll get back to embroidering so this part right here is what is really time consuming because you have to clean up those tiny little threads and also pick out this topper it's called like a water soluble topper and i put that on the top because it helps the stitches to lie really nicely on top of the fabric <music> Okay, this one is done as well. Okay, now I have to clean my machine. And I'm curious, are you guys liking this video or is it kind of boring? I'm just kind of talking to you guys as I'm working. I guess I could also share a joke with you guys, but I'll have to think of one that is not offensive. <laughs> Actually, maybe, you know, I love a good meme. So maybe I will post a meme towards the end of the video. So I've already got the third sweatshirt loaded on the machine, and that one is Jennifer's. So she has ordered from my shop before. I want to thank you, Jennifer, for supporting my channel and also my Etsy shop. Okay, so I have one more left that I need to prepare to do for this episode, for this round of sweatshirts. One thing that has saved me so much time is buying an extra hoop. So while one of them is stitching out, I can go ahead and prepare and hoop the next one and have it ready to go for when the other one finishes. And I don't think I've mentioned yet, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. I'm just going to run upstairs real quick and get me another cup of coffee. You let me know if anything goes wrong, okay? I'll be right back. I miss anything? Let's see. I'll take you over there so we can see how the progress is going. Oh. 
There's a tiny little detail right here that I like to cut because the word and is very, very tiny. So there's these tiny little jump stitches. Oh, and I did find a funny picture to show you guys. I don't know why I think it's funny, but here we go. When my mom makes me try on clothes that I hate. You guys, I don't know about you, but when I see dogs, a lot of times they do remind me of people. So anyways, let me know if you like it or if you think it's a dumb picture. Okay, you guys, so I have all of the sweatshirts embroidered. Now I'm just putting a drop cloth on the top of it and I'm gonna iron it down. They look so good. Go ahead and iron these and I'm gonna show you a full shot of all four of them. Okay, look at this. I couldn't wait to show you. Look at how perfect those stitches came out. I am so excited to mail these off. So this is what they look like. I am in love. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode. And thanks again to Tamara, Jennifer, Colette, and Moni for supporting my channel and supporting my Etsy shop. And for those of you who want one of these, there's still, I think there's still two of them left. So you can go on there and get one. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm gonna do something like this again, where I offer them to you for a low, low price and then get them mailed out to you because I love, I think it's neat that I'm doing it for people who are supporting my channel. So until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.